uh, welcome to my channel uh, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create your own embedded Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi 4 if you are an application developer this is required if you want to distribute your applications professionally So I'm covering this only for the Raspberry Pi 4 in this tutorial. We'll be creating a very basic Linux distribution. In subsequent tutorials, we can cover other boards such as the Beagle board, as what you see on your screen. So if you're interested, make sure you follow my channel. Eventually, we'll produce a lightweight customized Linux distribution to run our Qt touchscreen application. Make sure to follow the links uh, which I have provided in the description below. Just get yourself familiar with the environment and the tools which we are going to use. I am doing my development on an Apple Mac running Ubuntu virtual machine but you can choose whatever you are comfortable with. Make sure your Ubuntu system has all the prereqs installed as mentioned on this page. And the Ubuntu version which you are using is also supported by Yocto. Otherwise, you will be getting a lot of build errors. Again, all the links are in the description below. So just make sure to install this prereq. Just run the command as it is given on this page here. Just paste it in the terminal window. I have summarized the requirements again on this screen. Uh, you can freeze this page and have a look at it again in case We will be using Yocto for creating our own Linux distribution and this is the UI distribution which we will be creating. Make sure to read through this uh, if you wish to. So let's get started. Started. Okay, make, let's download Yocto first. And we will install it in the opt folder. So just create the folder as I'm creating it on the screen now. And we'll be cloning the Yocto from the GitHub and we'll be cloning the Dunfell branch. This is the branch which is uh, working without any errors, at least on my system. I have not tried any other branch. So it's quite stable branch. So we'll be using this branch. So just make sure to type in the commands as exactly as they are without any errors. And you see the friendly nerd bloke on the screen, which is indicating to type the commands properly. Make sure you type the last command, uh, the number eight one, source one. And we'll change the configuration files now. This will tell Yocto to what sort of configuration we want for the Pi, basically. And go to the Raspberry Pi folder. Just make sure to look on the screen, the paths, everything is there. So we'll modify this file first, bblayers.conf. I'll provide this in the description as well for your download, just in case if you need it. So make sure you have all these entries in your configuration file. So we have support for Qt in this. So save the file. And let's modify the other file, this local.conf. This will tell Yocto what kind of image which we need to build and what feature. So we are using Raspberry Pi 4 and the touchscreen feature for now. Subsequently, we'll be modifying it further and make sure to also include this line. Very important. Make sure to put that line in your 
local.conf as well. Image underscore fs types. Save the file. And now we'll run the actual build. Make sure to type all the commands in the same terminal window. Do not create any separate terminal window. And the command is to run to start bit bake and the name of the image as you see on the screen. This is going to take about five to six hours or maybe more. So make sure your computer does not go to sleep. This is going to take a long time. If you do get errors, it will mostly be because your uh, virtual machine does not have enough RAM maybe. So if you follow the all the prereqs, it should build successfully. And eventually we should have an image for us to write to the SD card. So on my system, it took about uh, six to seven hours, I should say, for the entire process to be completed. I can play some background music here while this completes. Okay, it's finished. Now time to write the image to the SD card. So I'm using Belena HR. Make sure to download it from, again, the link is provided. Go into the Raspberry Pi folder, into the TMP folder, deploy, images, and use the SDIMG file extension. And this needs to be burned to the SD card. using Belena HR because it makes writing to the card easy. But if you are com comfortable, you can use the DD command as well if, if you are comfortable with that. But I would suggest you use HR as it is safe and it won't, you will not accidentally delete any other files or disk on your virtual machine or physical system. Okay, this is done. Now the time has come for testing. So, but before that, let's look at uh, what are the files which have been written to the card. We can have a quick look. Hmm. So it has created the files. So we have some files here, but we don't know yet whether these will work or not. That proof will come once we insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi 4. The files are there, looks good from at least from the files, but yet we don't know whether we will be having a successful image or not. But let's try it. Okay, let's put the SD card. Okay, here it goes now. Looks good. And that's the logo which you just saw. I'll cover that in the subsequent tutorial, how to create your own logo. I will skip it for this tutorial to keep it simple. Great. So we have the screen which we saw on the Yocto page. I will just play with the screen here. Excuse my not that good looking fingers. Looks good so far. It's quite responsive. I'll just try some touch applications. Some games here. Hmm, looks good. Hmm. 
you can skip this section if you want to if you don't want to watch me playing with the screens here but that's what we are here for isn't it so once i think you have your own system you can try these things on your own i have also provided the binary image for the linux distribution just in case if you don't want to go through all this but just want to play yourself on the raspberry pi so you can insert it directly on the card and just try it on your pi pi 4 i will do a, a reboot from the terminal that's a terminal i attached a wireless keyboard to this so i am typing in the reboot command excuse the out of focus screen uh, was a bit difficult with the camera to film and type and other things so i am typing in the reboot command to see how fast it boots and uh, whether my logo shows up again or not okay there it goes yeah so it's booting up it's pretty fast to boot up i think it takes around 3 3 seconds 3 or 4 seconds i think to come up so okay let's see that's it really it has booted up yeah so we are ready in around 3 or 4 seconds so not bad for 5 to 6 hours of work In case if you are interested to look at other ways to create your UI, you can go onto this website as well, Embedded Wizard. I was just doing my research when I came across this site, so it may be of interest to you. Just have a look. I thought maybe it could be of use to someone who wants to create embedded UIs. Looks promising and they support a Raspberry Pi 4 as well. I have no affiliation with this company or with their products. I just came across when I was doing my research. So just in case if you are interested. Thank you for watching. And if you are interested, subscribe, please. Thank you.